Your overall energy is the page of wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Uh, doesn't have to be. There's no communication. There's a lack of communication, lack of motivation. Someone's not feeling motivated enough or there's a lack of passion, okay, between you both or there's just no communication. That's not like that. Let's talk. You know, it's not happening. In the past, you could have had a commitment or there was something stable and secure that you started. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Could be a commitment. Could be a stable relationship that you started. Um, but then I see in the current situation is that it was a missed opportunity. Okay. Because something came to an end. We have the world here. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo or Aquarius. But yeah, there was a missed opportunity. You're, you're holding back. I think you're the one holding back. You have the strength here. You're putting in your full power to hold back. But the thing is that you love someone. They love you. We have the two of cups here. This is a strong, badass, soulmate connection. Okay, the two of cups is really not just like a fairy tale. It's a strong fucking connection. Okay, you can feel it. Anyways, in the future, things are anyways going to go your way. The Wheel of Fortune is going to be your way. So I don't see this as a very bad reading, but I just want to know what is what happened between the Ace of Pentacles and why the Four of Cups in reverse now. All right, let's do this. Try for the Page of Wands in reverse. Why is the Page of Wands in reverse as the overall energy? One second, can you guys see? One second, let me just... All right, better. Apply for the page of wands in reverse. Why is the page of wands in reverse as the overall energy for Leo? All right. Someone's not talking and moving forward. Could be dealing with the cancer. Apply for the chariot. Apply for the chariot. And taking action. Apply for the king of wands. Apply for the king of wands. Apply for the king of wands, please. But not walking away. Mm -hmm. So there is a lack of communication, but someone's coming in hot and heavy. They want to travel towards you. Whoever this person is, right? Either, the, you're, either you're traveling towards the King of Wands, or this is this King of Wands who is determined as hell to move towards you, okay? And guess what? Someone's not moving on. If you thought someone moved on, no. Hell no. They're not moving on. They're right behind your ass. You know why? Because of the Two of Cups. They love you. You love them and they love that. All right. Try for the Ace of Pentacles. Please try for the Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the past for Leo? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Try for the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, someone took action. Someone was very passionate. There was someone who you started a relationship with. You saw them as the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands is passionate. She's sexy. She's out there. She's got a lot of suitors there. And she's got that go for it vibe, you know. She's very passionate. She knows what she wants. She doesn't let shit happen. Okay, she makes things happen, okay. So you could have had a commitment with someone like that. Well, a page of cups just slipped out. Try for the Queen of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands doing here? Yeah, definitely someone from your past. You could have started something uh, with someone from your past. Again, more soulmate connections. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. That's a lot of soulmate connection. Okay, you can't shake this connection. The, this is this is this is you in a connection with uh, someone. You know, you could have had a past life with this person or just good memories, okay? But whoever you started with, you were very passionate about them or they were very passionate about you. You saw this person as like someone very, very um, appealing, you know, like they're like out there and like you find them very attractive and stuff. So what happened in the past? Clap for the Six of Cups. Clap for the Six of Cups. Yeah, but then there was restlessness over a situation from the past. You had good memories in the past, but you're very restless about a situation from the past. So you started something with someone who you're very passionate about and you took action and you thought this person was your soulmate. Rather, it is your soulmate. But there is a lot. there was a lot of restlessness over a situation. Like, you know, overthinking a situation from the past again and again and again. Try for the Four of Souls in reverse. What is this Four of Souls in reverse? What is this Four of Souls in reverse? Yeah. Was someone giving to someone else too? It could also be that you started a commitment. You started something with the Queen of Wands. 
but someone from your past from some from your past or someone from their past came back and you were stress, stress, stressing about the situation and maybe probably the, you you think there was more than one person involved we have the six of pentacles here six of pentacles can also be in one person giving two people all right just to put it out there because i see restlessness over a situation things are going fine why would you like stress so much i think you're stressing about someone whose past person came back okay or stressing about someone from your past or maybe there was someone from your past who you were restless about and now and then they, they they finally decided that they want to give uh, equal balance out the situation with you clarify the four of cups in reverse why is the four of cups in reverse as the current situation for you clarify the four of cups in reverse what is this missed opportunity yeah you, you you're letting this opportunity go currently because you're not fighting for this anymore yeah, the five of ones in reverse. You're giving up. You don't want to fight for this anymore. Probably you think there are too many people involved in this. Or you just feel, I mean, you know what? Every time you get into this and there's like a lot of conflict and a lot of issues, yeah? The ten of pentacles, yeah. This could have been a very, very stable, solid, committed connection, okay? This is a, this is a marriage. You could have committed to someone. You, this could have led to something very, very stable. But then now you're letting it go. Because you think there are too many people involved. Clap for the ten of pentacles. Clap for the ten of pentacles. And maybe this information was given to you in a very hasty manner, or maybe there was someone who just rushed in to communicate with you, or you communicated to someone that you know what? I don't think. A clap for the knight of swords. Clap for the knight of swords. Yeah, and now you're shut down. You've ended things with someone. That's for sure. Okay, a cycle has come to an end. You did have a missed opportunity. You let something go. You were like, you know what? That's fine. You you, you move forward from a stagnant point of uh, mode, from a stagnant zone. You have, must have isolated yourself. You could have isolated yourself after whatever happened in the past. And you didn't want to fight for something that gave you a lot of stability and security. Or you didn't want to fight for something that was commitment, uh, that was very committed. And then, and someone communicated this to you, okay? Because we have the Knight of Swords. Knights are like coming and going, right? But they can just come in quickly. There was an opportunity that came into you, right? But I think you let it go because now you're shut off. Ace of Cups in Reverse is just shutting down completely. You're like a box right now. You're not opening up. What is this world? Why is the world here? You cut someone off, the Queen of Swords in Reverse. You were fed up of something and you cut someone off. You're being cold, detached, okay? The Queen of Swords in Reverse, you don't want to mess with her. She's pissed off. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone cut someone off because they were fed up. Like, enough. I am done. You're out. Clap for the Queen of Swords in Reverse. She's pissed off. She's mad as hell. Clap for the Queen of Swords in Reverse. But someone loves. Was there a third person involved here, Leo? Because I have two queens here. Someone cut you off. So either this is one person or this is two people. So I'm getting something like th there was an ending because someone cut someone off, okay? Or someone pissed off because they were cut off. Maybe the, you, you cut off an air sign because you realized they were giving to someone else. And then there's someone who loves you very much. Or, or you have ended a cycle with someone you cut off because you love someone else. Yeah. That's complicated. Clap the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone who's very compassionate. Okay, she's very, very, um, uh, very creative. She's very intuitive. So the Queen of Cups. You know, she, 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 she knows what's happening, okay? So there, there could have been someone else who's waiting around for you and you waiting for you to cut someone off. Clap for the Queen of Cups. Where is this Queen of Cups? Clap for the Queen of Cups. Clap for the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see? That's a lot of silent energy. That's what I'm feeling. We have the High Priestess here. Definitely could be dealing with a, a Cancer or a Pisces. But um, someone's giving someone the silent treatment now. You know what I'm getting? 
I think in the past, someone started a relationship with someone, but then they realized that they were giving someone else, or maybe Leo, you were giving someone else, giving someone else from your past too. Someone realized that they cut their ass off, right? And now it's like you or the other person is waiting to end, has ended something, cut someone off. Queen of Swords is always an ex. For me, she's an ex, okay? So you cut someone off, but there's someone else who loves you very, very much, Leo. But now they're giving you the silent treatment. They know you're doing this for them, but now they're giving you the silent treatment. The High Priestess, she's, her intuition is on point. The Queen of Cups, her intuition is on point. Let me just put it out there. They're both super intuitive, okay? And her High Priestess is badass. She knows exactly what's happening, but she's just not opening her mouth. The High Priestess is a lot of secretive energy, okay? There could have been a relationship which was a secret, okay? Anyways, apply for the strength. Why is the strength on Leo's mind? Why is the strength on Leo's mind? Yeah. You have the strength. You want to overcome this, but you're stalking. You're stalking. You're trying to get more information. Someone's stalking you, you're stalking someone, okay? But you're having the strength, I think, to hold back or you're having the strength to overcome whatever obstacles you're going through, right? But someone's stalking you for sure. Like at the page of swords. Yeah, for the page of swords, please. Yeah, whoever's stalking you is someone who's very, very fickle, okay? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is someone who's in and out of your life. In, out, in, out, in, out. The Knights are travelers, okay? They don't stay. And the Knight of Wands in reverse bro you cannot tie this person down okay this is someone in unreliable very whoever's stalking you this is someone very insincere okay i don't like that energy coming towards you like knight of wands i still understand someone's passionate they're rushing in but you are they don't even know if they want to come in towards you they're just stalking that's for the knight of wands in reverse that's for the knight of wands in reverse yeah and now you're shut off or maybe they're the one who's talking. They don't know what they want. And, okay, you know what? We have the King of Cups here. We have the Knight of Wands here, okay? I definitely, I see an age difference between you both, okay? One of them is younger. I think the guy is younger. Or, I, I don't know, however it is. There is an age difference, okay? The King of Cups in reverse is someone who's extremely emotionally um, manipulative, okay? This is someone who has a lot of emotions, but they're just not offering their cup to you. Okay, the King of Cups and Rivers can also be where the emotions are not stabilized. Okay, they just don't know what they're doing. They can be extremely sensitive, extremely moody, uh, jealous, whatever have you. Okay, all right. So just to put it out there, why are there so many people involved? We have the Queen of Cups. We have the King of Cups. I mean, that's a pair. The Queen of Cups is open to. I mean, being compassionate, she's understanding. But now the King of Cups is in reverse. Now the King of Cups is shut down. That's messed up. Alright, clear for the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here? Yeah. You feel rejected by this person who you love. The problem is that you feel rejected by the person you love so much. You're you're aloof. You're you're staying away from this connection. I told you, right? The strength is on your mind. And that strength is that you are holding back from something, okay? And probably that's why you're the king of cups in reverse. Maybe you're the king of cups in reverse and right now your energy is too fickle. Your, your, your energy is all over the place, okay? But you're stalking this person who's like not talking to you anymore. Or someone who's giving you the silent treatment. But you're staying aloof from this connection. You know there's a connection. You love them. They love you. But you're just feeling rejected or someone's feeling rejected, okay? I think there's a fear of rejection here. Like, are they going to take me back or not after I fucked up? Life for the Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here? That's like a very aloof energy, you know? Clarify the Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups? Yeah, you want to take a leap of faith with them. I think this is more, you know, the Four of Cups out here. It's more like staying aloof, meditating into isolation, and thinking about what you want to do next. And what you want to do is you want to take a leap of faith. We have um, a new beginning here. You want a new beginning with this person. Clap for the fool. What is the fool here? Clap for fool, please. Alright. So I think you're taking a leap of faith. 
and you're leaving a third party situation. We have the three of pentacles in reverse here. There was a hundred percent third party. You're leaving a situation. You're going to take a risk and you're going to let go of a third party situation. You could, this could be a work situation where there were three people involved in a workplace or whatever. But I definitely see that there was a third party involved here. Someone was giving to someone else. Could be someone from their past. And now the other person's pissed off. They know that you love them, but they're just giving you the silent treatment. And now you're just staying there, holding on strong because you're, you're, you're fearing rejection. You just don't know if this person's going to come back or not, if this person's going to take you back or not. You're just scared. I think you're worried. But there is a connection here. And now you're taking a leap of faith and you're leaving the situation. You're definitely leaving a situation, a third party situation. Let me put it out there. If this is not for you, but this is for someone. Okay, I know it's going to resonate with someone that I'm waiting for. Like for the wheel of fortune why will leo experience the wheel of fortune in the future why will leo experience the wheel of fortune in the future please yeah things will go your way but you still have unfinished business okay things will go your way the wheel is going to turn your way but there's going to be something that still, you still not learned your lessons you still have unfinished business with someone okay but we have the nine of wands you're 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 wounded battered tired frustrated irritated fed up okay you could have been fed up with this person who you were dealing with who you don't want to be with anymore you know i mean this could have been a situation that has been going on for a very long time the world is in reverse things could have been stagnant for a very long time and you're like wanting big changes okay big changes the, the changes are going to come in but it's just that with the changes you know the world in reverse to me sometimes can also mean that we think that it's unfinished business but sometimes the karma is done. It's just that we are not being able to accept it and we didn't have enough closure. I think, you know what, the wheel's going to turn on your people. You're going to have things your way, but there's just going to be a lack of closure with someone, okay? Someone who you were sick and tired and fed up of, okay? It's been like an ongoing battle for a very long time. Try for the nine of wands, but you still are going to get, this is someone a little, who, who's going to, this is perseverance, okay? Someone who's still going to give it one last shot. Clap for the nine of wands. Clap for the nine of wands, please. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah. You'll have to pick a direction. You have the two of wands here. The two of wands to me is someone who's half in, half out. Okay. So you're there. It's like, you know, you have like a boundary. If you cross that, like they say, right? You're just one decision away from a totally different life. So yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. Now, someone's going to have to make a decision about what they want to do. Like, am I going to do this or not? Do I want this person or not? Do I want to go back or not? If you see, I see a lot of shut off energy here. The Ace of Cups in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, you know. Shut down, shut down. People are not talking. So, I don't know. Try for the Two of Wands here. What is this Two of Wands? What is this Two of Wands? Yeah, but someone's not butting. We've got a butch fest going on here. There's someone who's who's not budging, okay? The hangman in reverse could be dealing with the Pisces. There's someone who still needs to pick a direction, but they're being very, very stubborn about it. Look at what we have at the bottom of the deck. We have the lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You need to make a very, very difficult choice. The lovers is about choices, but very difficult choices, okay? A head over heart decision. You're going to have to choose which direction to take. It's going to be a tough choice. You're going to have to make a very detached decision. But yeah, I guess you're just stuck right now. You're not being able to look at things in a different perspective. But this is just someone who doesn't want to, I mean, um, someone who is just refusing to look at things the other way or it could be someone who doesn't want to give this another chance, okay? All right, Leo, I hope this reading resonates with you. Please like, share, follow, put your comments down below. I'd love to hear them. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.